Hello and welcome to the Green TV Show. We've got lots of stuff this week for Angry Birds, the Coral Reefs. We've got plastic bottles in Canada and we've got autonomous Uber. <gasps> hey guys, you looking forward to it? Yes, I am. <laughs> Rob, tell me about Uber. So Uber have actually allegedly just ordered 100,000 autonomous cars. That's correct, Rob. So it looks like these cars are likely to be the Mercedes S-Class and the order itself is worth around 11 billion dollars. That's a lot of, that, 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 that's a lot of money. Um, and nobody actually really knows where Uber's getting this kind of money from. Um, thank you. Because uh, they haven't actually made any profit yet. So actually car manufacturers are a little bit skeptical about doing business with um, small startups or people like Uber because they're not 100% sure if they're going to be around for, well, you know, a long time and when the money needs paying back. Well, unfortunately, we've got some really sad news from the Great Barrier Reef. Lizard Island is experiencing some of the worst coral bleaching in over 15 years. And to be honest, it's only getting worse. But Rob, what is coral bleaching? No, well done. Corals live in a symbiotic relationship with, well, this algae. Ooh, gosh. Yeah. Jazzy. Um, so what's happening is pollution is running off of farmland and land clearances and actually stressing out the algae which then leave and the coral turns white and no longer has its major food source. It's pretty bad stuff, Rob. Yeah, but there is time to change and, and ways in which we can reverse the effect on the coral but something needs to take action. If the coral is in good conditions, then it can recover in about 10 years, but somebody needs to take action on Australia. Come on! You're killing Nemo. What are you doing? I love Nemo. Oh. It's funny. <laughs> oh, Canada, the land with no plastic bottles. You may, you may or may not have guessed that Rob is actually Canadian. There he is. Yeah? yeah. Right. Anyway, in 2018, the mayor of Montreal will be banning plastic bottles and bags, which is great. And I mean, if you look at their water, it's perfectly crystal clear, so they don't need it bottled. And it, I mean, Canada's been doing some really interesting stuff for a while. So, Rob, tell me about the beer. Regale oh, so, me. Yes. Regale me. <laughs> Regale me. <laughs> so all the, all the beer in Canada is actually bottled into brown bottles, which are then washed and sanitized and refilled and repackaged and sent back out and each bottle could be used up to about 15 times, which is great. And then they're smashed up and made into new bottles. Well, Rob, I'll drink to that. Do you want a drink? Yeah. Great, I've got some orange squash. Mm. Mm. Shuffling it out. Feathered friends, Rob, right, with anger management issues, right, as ambassadors for the UN and for like climate change. I don't, what is this, Rob? You seem more passive aggressive than usual, Dawn. We're all in a slight flap here at Green TV, okay? In a kind of happy flap, angry flap way, thank you, that Sony and the UN are partnered together to use the popularity of Angry Birds to get young people engaged with climate change, Rob. Go check out Angry Birds for a happy planet. Oh, Rob, mm. pretty good show, yeah. I thought. Oh, I thought it was nice okay. as well. Mm. Yeah, so, oh, Rob, you're looking a bit hungry. There. Hmm? You're looking a bit hungry, Rob. Yeah. Do you want some food? Yeah. Yeah. You look a bit peckish. <laughs> peckish. Mm. <laughs> Wasted. Okay. What? It's like you're always looking at me weird, Rob. Maybe you should look in the mirror. <sighs> okay. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this show, like yeah, please subscribe. Like here on the mitts. Brilliant. And uh, if you missed last week's show, we're after all sorts of antics. Uh, you can uh, you can watch it here, just here. He likes it. He's angry, but he likes it. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> You're stuck, aren't you?